what do you think about uh, my uh, custom camera strap? I uh, made this myself. I'm just gonna make a bunch of these. There it is. It's amazing how much time and effort goes into. There's about 14 different steps in making this. Unbelievable. Very soft, very tough, very durable. Hey, I had a question for those. Let's just be logical. And it is no secret that I'm no fan of Sony for many countless empirical reasons. Many countless empirical reasons, but there were a bunch of images leaked, not leaked, but posted on the uh, Sony's website of the new $6,500 Alpha One Sony camera, 50 megapixels, which is more than enough. All images except for one were still shots. And um, my question to you is, let's leave apart my logical bias against Sony and their countless uh, issues. Would you really, as a stills camera? Now, some people pointed out to me last time I mentioned the Sony Alpha 1 that, well, the GFX cameras and the Sony cameras have different in-use intentions, and I know that. That is rather extremely obvious. It uh, has a tracking system and eye autofocus, which are extremely good uh, for photojournalists. Hardcore sports action wildlife, yes, that has its own niche, along with like a Nikon D5 or a Fujifilm X-T4. But all those images that were posted meant... <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, God. Meant... <laughs> meant to impress people about that $6,500 camera. As an owner of the GFX100, of which the GFX100S has the exact same sensor and image processing engine, and it's $500 less, and it's medium format, would you really buy that Sony camera? Would you really? Now, I don't care if you hate Fujifilm or love Sony, let's really be honest here, okay? Let's get down to the, the, the sub-layer, the sub-basement layer. And so far, now, no electronics, of course, are future-proof. Some are a lot more future-proof than others, like the really old Nikon D3 or D4. Incredibly future-proof cameras. All medium-format cameras, whether they be film or digital, are very, very future-proof. Very much so. So for $500 less, please let me ask you this question. I hate this hand gesture. When people do this, it always pisses me off. You know this hand gesture? <laughs> For $500 less? <laughs> would you Would you would you rather have a medium format 102 megapixel medium format camera with IBIS and it's it's the same size as a 35 millimeter? <laughs> or would you rather have a 50 megapixel full frame sensor camera, which, by the way, two testers have already proven that it overheats. I made that accurate prediction. I said, wait, what, watch for all the people that report that it overheats. One of them is a Swedish guy. The other is the guy up in uh, Connecticut. I think there's a third, but I know of two that have already reported that the camera overheats. That, of course, is for video. Yeah. However, have you ever seen the video? I've posted a full res uh, 4K image sample, and they're all over YouTube. You ever seen the video out of a GFX camera? Absolutely incredible. Seriously, w w would, you, would you rather buy that camera for $500 more? I found it amusing that all except one shot were just still images. Portraiture, uh, landscape. Any 50 megapixel medium format camera, like the GFX 50S or 50R, will far outstrip even the Sony Alpha 1 because it requires less enlargement. Yeah, has more dynamic range too. And that camera, I don't have it in front of me, it would be like the $3,500 GFX 50R. On sale, it's that much money. I just find that incredibly amusing that this small little camera company, Fujifilm, has uh, 
the best camera for the year 2021. I don't know why other people don't see the obvious. Maybe they're occluded by their love or hatred for a camera company. And like I said, it's no, it's no uh, shocking fact that I'm no fan of Sony. But being objective and logical, right? Live long and prosper. That kind of logical. <laughs> Would you really buy that thing over a future-proof 102 megapixel medium format camera that's $500 less? Honestly, would you? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, God. How do you like my camera strap, huh? I can easily say I've owned more camera straps than anybody. There might be somebody out there that, like, collects camera straps. So, it's very lightweight. It's extremely durable. It's all leather. There are so many steps in leather making, it's not even funny. Cutting it out. Uh, sewing it. First you have to tack it before you sew it. Then you have to burn off all the edges. You have to wax it and seal it and then moisturize it. They don't have to do that, but just an enormous amount of steps to make. Uh, I'm very impressed by my camera strap. No camera is going to fall off of it. If you're interested, contact me if you're interested in buying one of these straps. Um, I kind of regret making them because there's an enormous amount of labor. <laughs> It's an enormous amount of labor involved in making them. But anyway, I know I, I said I don't sell stuff, but I, I'm not going to feel guilty about selling camera straps but, or any leather product by that, for that matter because there's a lot of labor involved. A lot. And man, you have to be so careful on that sewing machine to get all the stitches perfectly straight. And you got to, you know, it's not like you're going burp, burp, burp and sewing it up. It's not like that at all. It takes a lot of time. So anyway, tell me what you think about the Sony. Alpha One, 50 megapixel, $6,500 camera. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> Sorry.